Right, welcome back. Nice bit of burning off in the background. Some serious thick smoke over there, but we got the um, little babies out for the fourth time. So there's only two left. Uh, been flying today, which is really good. I didn't catch her because I was doing a little bit of cleaning in the loft. Um, we'll see if we can get them in. Come on. All right, so they're getting there. They're pretty good. I'm, I'm definitely happy that these ones have come along quite well. Um, so we'll give them a little bit of a feed. Just gonna give them a bit of a hand feed to start with. I'm just really trying to get them um, real tame. I'll just enjoy having them tame. It just makes life easier. Come on. Come on. Don't be shy. Come on. They are come along quite well. They are pretty defensive and stuff on the perches when we're up there and you're trying to you know, have a bit of a play with them and stir them up a bit. Like they're getting a bit crazy here. Um, they're just getting a bit excited, which is good. Um, just We are in the trap training process, which seems to be working quite well. You've just seen then. Uh, yeah, doing pretty well. They had a maybe three, four, five minute fly around, which was pretty much their first fly that they've had, which is, yeah, it's not too bad. These are the first four out of the um, nest anyway, and they don't really like that um, black sunflower because we can't get any gray sunflower at the moment. The um, stocks are pretty much zero, and there's my rooster in the background getting pretty crazy as normal he's getting jealous because he knows that bucket means food but I'm pretty happy how these ones are turning out so I'd say within a week we're gonna have them flying around quite well um, and I'll say within the fortnight we'll be able to move them in with the other ones anyway it's not super ideal but um, I've got another bunch of young birds I want to start weaning which will come through really really quickly um, if you're watching the videos you'll see there's we got something around about 20 babies and eggs and stuff at the moment and we're probably going to end up around about another 20 eggs being laid oh, very soon, I'd say within the next week, week and a half. Which we'll go and have a look at those other nine pairs shortly. So um, yeah, it's it's getting crazy, but I want this breeding over and done with and I want all the young birds as close together as possible. Um, didn't really work with these ones, we had a couple single nesters and stuff like that, but i um, pretty happy. So we'll get a little food tray in there for them and um, we'll go and have a look at the other birds. All right, come on, you're being a bit cheeky. You remind me of Thunder, you do. Does anyone remember Thunder? One of Leon Storm's babies had, super friendly. Um, this one's kind of the same. If, if you've been watching for a while, you'll definitely remember him. I think we lost him around the loft, actually. But um, very similar to this one, little blue bar. Very friendly, very happy, which is good. All right, continue. All right, so plenty of food in there for them keep them happy I only feed them once a day at the moment because I go to work so early so I just feed them in the afternoon so that's why they look a little bit hungry when I get home but they get fed uh, quite a lot actually changing things up a little bit at the moment we've got them trap trained pretty well so this year we're going to do things slightly different we had a bit of a muck around last year a bit of a first year learning um, but we're definitely on the right track now so here is the rest of the pairs these eggs are going to come through pretty quick. We've got the two pairs here. We'll have a look at in a minute that we put down a little bit earlier. Um, there are some babies' eggs in there. But we've got all these other pairs, which is the six here, um, that should, as well, our fingers crossed, we'll, we should be moving into that um, laying soon, I'm hoping. I'm just getting um, pretty excited because there's a lot of thing, ones in here we haven't tried before. So this pair, I'd say they're pretty much paired up. He's doing a pretty good job. Um, he's been pretty persistent with her, which is definitely what we want. She's a little bit new, so they're all taking their little bit of time just to settle in a bit, which I'm happy for. Um, so we'll just follow how this pair goes. But um, yeah, definitely one of the favorite pairs actually out of the birds we're just about to look at. Um, so that is one of the new Krugers crossed into uh, my birds. So we'll see how that pairs up. Um, should be pretty evenly matched. Hopefully we probably get some eggs again, well, some eggs from soon. Um, and we'll go down to the next pair, which these ones are just Kruger to Kruger. Nothing um, overly too exciting in here, but um, yeah, I didn't sort of run out of hens and cocks to use out of my birds. So we're kind of just pairing them together and we're gonna race them separately at the moment well breed them separately sorry um and race them and then we'll just pull back whatever if anything does you know shine we'll soon see anyway it's um it's always fun trying new pairs you, and it's something you definitely do have to do 
just got to keep mixing up and you know like I keep saying ideally I'd like to have one of my birds and some new blood and just keep doing that every single pair and then whatever works we just keep um, give them a year or two to test but um, th these ones next year if um, their babies seem to do pretty well we might cross them into um, my birds with their own hens and cocks but at this point we're just a bit limited on pairs and this here is my second favorite pair probably actually more favorite oh, I'd say even to the first one we looked at it's really hard you can't pick favorites but uh, one of the little storm hens and we paired it up to one of the black power cocks that we got so um, you know he's definitely my favorite out of the bunch when you when you come down to just handle him and things like that he's you know really good condition very strong bird and um, you know hopefully that crosses well so um, we will see the cockbird this one up here is very similar way bred and I really wish I had another free hen like that to pair up with him so he can get a greater sample size but you know we just work with what we got for this year it's already been a struggle to get enough pairs as it is and you can see little 83 is you know kind of on the right track there but the bowls over there he'll get there He's trying, that's all we can ask for. He's definitely trying. We'll go across to these ones. These were two just the real wild ones. They seem to have settled down a bit now. Um, you know, who knows? I don't know what's gonna be any good out of this bunch, but we'll find out this year. Same thing, I didn't have one of my birds cross into them, but um, you know, we'll just put these two together and see how they go. Both of them, they're different strains, but they've both got Defigo in them. Um, so we'll be interesting to see how that performs because um, they're pretty sought after at the moment some of these lines in australia the guy i got them from is pretty busy at the moment with phone calls of people wanting them so um, i must have just got in before someone won somewhere with them maybe in sydney somewhere i think so there's a pretty huge demand there at the moment which is interesting so um yeah we'll see how they go i'm pretty happy they're both um, quite nice looking birds they are smallish i would say they're medium to small but lots of muscle and pretty wild too so it's gonna be interesting uh, they might be they might do well in the tough races. That's kind of what we're after um, These lines have done well up This line well, they've done well in their pedigree um, Over multiple generations from the 99th at yeah, about 99,000 I think up to 120,000 birdage kind of thing so for you know That's pretty cool because we generally only race up to a max of 2,000 birds if we can get that many so um, You know you've got to bring in those lines that do perform well like that and we've got one of our other little hens here. I'm going to race these hens. But I thought uh, we'll just put these two sisters with these two half-brothers. So we've got um, basically the same two sisters with two half-brothers. These cocks have got the same father. Um, I brought them as a pair, but they turned out to be two cocks. So these ones are paired up, and it looks like those ones are paired up too. So I'm pretty happy that that's sort of working out that way. But, um, you know, I just cleaned this and I'm starting to make a mess with the seeds again. But uh, they are definitely enjoying it. It's a friendly little hen, this one. She's nice. Hens are reasonably different ones. Small ones, big. So we'll cross them over and just see how they perform into those cassarts. Um, so, yeah. So all we can do is try and test. Now we should be able to get a bit of an idea of how these guys are turning out. You can see the mother and the father. Blue bar hen and tiger grizzle cock. I'm hoping realistically from this pairing to be tigers or either blue or black tigers, not too stressed, but you can kind of see with the coloration we've got here, the birds are going to be pretty dark and the way these beaks are, I think they might actually be tigers. So um, I'm, yeah, that's what I'm leaning at. And the looks of this, it's sort of leaning that way. The tigers generally they kind of throw that kind of piety feel, I think. He might actually be a pied tiger from memory, which is hard to tell, but um, yeah, you can. You're right. So we'll see, we'll keep a close eye on these anyway. In the next few days, we'll definitely be able to tell what they are. Um, and I'm gonna have to get some rings on them this weekend before they get too big. But um, pretty happy how these ones are turning out. Just means there might be more tigers, a little bit more color for you guys that like that, so. Um, should be an interesting mix actually she's meant to be a pretty good hen haven't really utilized her as much um, i've only bred two babies off her so this is her year to shine 
and um, we'll give her another chance. And here's our little Neely. She's a character, this one. I do like this little hen. She's very cool. Um, and she done well for us. She just she was a very consistent little hen. Yeah. You just wanted to get home because you wanted to breed. And hopefully these eggs will hatch. Um, I canned them last night and they are fertile. So hopefully we get some babies out in the next week or so. Which can't be too far away now. And she's paired up with the big cock bird here. We'll bring him over. Come on, big fella. He's one of the cocks I actually brought from auction. I'm pretty happy with him. He's bred some reasonably good babies last year. We just got to find a, a better hen for him. And I think this hen might be the equal match. So we should have some reasonably good sprint birds. Some of that shorter distance birds this year. Because um, hopefully that'll pull us through that first bit of the season. But I will catch you guys in the next video. We'll keep the updates coming. And uh, yeah, see you soon.